Hello, this is Rob Reed with Data Video, and today I'm going to introduce the SE500MU. The SE500MU is a four channel multi format HDMI rack mount live event switcher. The SE500MU is perfect for live event, corporate presentations, boardroom, classrooms, trade show, or even event spaces. What's even more important, the video processing is a 10 bit 444, which ensures crisp video throughout your workflow, especially mixing computer and tablet video sources. It again, it's multi-format, so each input and output are scaled and enables you to switch any video resolution from 480 up to 1080p60. It has a dedicated remote control app for iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac OS, which allows you to control the switcher parameters through the standard networking cable or over Wi-Fi. The video effects include picture-in-picture, split-screen, LumaKey, wipes, and dissolve. What's more is data video PTZ and block cameras can be remotely controlled directly from the app. It enables a single operator to produce the event. So here's the back panel of the SE500MU. There's four HDMI inputs with full scaling from 480 all the way up to 1080p60, and two HDMI outs, one for multi-view and the other for program out. Again, full independent scaling on both of those outputs. And then there is uh, the network port on here, so you can control it through the app. And then we have a uh, tally for camera, and we also have RS-232 for Crestron control panels or RTI touch panels. We also have uh, stereo microphone ins here and stereo RCA line level in and stereo line level out as well. And that's the I.O. of the SE500MU. Let's go through the menu structure of the app. I tap on menu and you can see I have different tabs so I can connect the app to the switcher, connect the app to the camera. Here's my setup of the switcher. Um, I also have my luminance key functions, my picture-in-picture -picture crop, my picture-in-picture -picture split. Uh, all this setup is really, really easy and tab controlled. Let's take a look at the cross points of the switcher. Here's a typical scenario. Maybe I might have a camera here, another camera shot, and for this scenario, I actually have an overhead camera or it can be a PowerPoint presentation. Here, I actually have my PowerPoint presentation on input four. As you can see, you can easily uh, just switch the, the assignable cross points. So here's a typical scenario where you may have a presenter uh, with a camera on him. And then maybe I wanna set my next shot there. And all I have to do is I have to hit the auto take button and it'll actually do a cross dissolve between the PowerPoint presentation and the live presenter. For example, maybe he's talking about a graph. So I can use maybe a picture in picture window for the graph. So all I have to do is hit my preset button there and you can see now I have a picture in picture window of the presenter over their live video feed. I can take that off now. And let's say, for example, I go to another graph. He's maybe talking about company revenue. So with the scaling and cropping and positioning of the picture-in-picture -picture window, now I can move it to a different side of the window. Let's take a look at a scenario where maybe I want to uh, use a lower third graphic using luminance key to identify the speaker. So all I have to do is key in from a full screen his name on a black background, and you can see it's a nice clean key. So that's again the basic overview structure of the app for controlling the SE500MU. Next, let's take a look at how it controls PTZ cameras. Currently right now we have a PTZ150 connected to the network. You can see I have a joystick positioner so I can move the camera left or right. And I also have memory presets built into here as well. Here's the tab for the PTC150. As you can see, we can adjust white balance, focus, and iris directly from the app. Let's look at how you recall one of the memory preset positions. All I have to do is tap one, and it'll actually move to the original position that I stored that memory preset. If I want to do a close-up of the apples, I press memory preset two, and it'll do a close-up of the apples. So you can see you have full PTZ camera control and memory presets directly from the app, making this an ideal solution for a single operator controlling cameras and the switcher at the same time. As you can see, the SE500MU is an extremely powerful video switcher. Again, it's four channel, multi-format, rack mount. It's perfect for a lot of different uses, including live event, corporate presentations, boardrooms, classrooms, trade shows, or even event spaces, all at an extremely affordable price. Be sure to check out our website at datavideo.com 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.